Peter, you are not helping. I know. But I think they're up to something, and I think this is the only way they're going to show us what they're up to. Is if we try and work out. But they could shoot us. What? That doesn't make any sense, Doctor. Let them think they can shoot you. They're gonna shoot us one way or the other. Look, you two, I'm getting sick of you two talking. Besides, we've all got somewhere to be. Oh, really? And may I ask where that somewhere is? Because I'd quite like to come too, and I'm sure Tara would love to come as well. We're quite fascinated with these events, and why you're all so interested in, well, whatever it is you're interested in, and we'd quite like to share your obsession, and we'd be quite honoured to accompany you. Yes. Yes, we would. Well, I suppose they could join the cult of Morbius. The cult of what? What did you say? The cult of what? The cult of Morbius. We worship him. We've saved his life. Doctor, is something wrong? What's the matter, Doctor? Morbius. It's impossible. I saw him die. I, I watched him die. I watched him fall from a cliff. I saw it. I even made it happen. <laughs> Doctor, you would have also met me then. Because I used to be a member of the Sisterhood of Khan. One of the Sisterhood. But Morbius offered me so much more. He offered me power. Oh, so much power. In return, he asked me to save his life, which I did, successfully. I saved his life, and fixed him up, and retrieved him. I done really well, I think, considering. You committed a crime against the Sisterhood. You done a terrible thing. An absolutely terrible thing. You're as despicable as Morbius. Why, thank you, Doctor. That means an awful lot to me. I've always wanted to be like Morbius. Always. You disgust me. Now take me to Morbius. Take me to him now. I don't think so, Doctor. Although, since you are his greatest enemy, I could make one slight exception. Excellent. I'm glad you can make one exception. I don't understand this, Doctor. It seems strange that these people have resurrected somebody. Yes, it does, doesn't it? Very strange. In fact, I don't like it. I mean, why would they resurrect him when he's done nothing for them? I know he hasn't. Why are they doing it? Why would Hmm, something doesn't make sense around here, but I intend on finding out. Come on, Tara. Right. This is it. The unveiling of Morbius. I hope you're all ready. I hope you're all ready to see him. The great and wonderful Morbius. Yes, well, come on then, get on with it. Don't worry about that. Come, let us see more.
More bits. I bring visitors. I bring the doctor and his companion. They have come. They landed here. I do not know how. But they are here. To your almighty resurrection. At last. At last this has happened. The doctor. He is back after all this time. Oh, this is excellent. This was meant to be. It's impossible. That is impossible. Morbius, you can't have lived. I saw you destroy. But like I said, Doctor, Morbius survived because I rescued him. I saved his life. Yes, well, I suppose you can't take all the credit. I suppose these guys helped you as well. Yes, that is correct, Zala. They all paid a price to my almighty resurrection. You did not do it alone. But I wish I would like the Count of Morbius to do one last test. To show how faithful they are to me. By taking the brain of the doctor out of his head and placing it in this body. And by taking my brain out and placing it in the doctor, because I want to live again.